go to my orders. Yep, here it is, GBA replacement kit. And it comes with the, uh, here's everything it comes with. Oh, sweet. As you can see, it comes with the screws, back and front plate, the replacement buttons, and a replacement screen cover. Nice. And you can get it in orange, green, or purple. I chose the orange one because it was the cheapest option. There you go. At $13.39. All right. The green one is $14.29, and the purple one is the most expensive. Although I will say the purple one does look the nicest. Eh, it's kind of like the, uh, the purple one, the, the bluey purple one. The oh, original. like what I have? Yeah, the original colored one. A lot. I kind of like... I kind of, I kind of dig this translucent purple one. The reason I chose not to get this one is it's too close to what I already have. They do have somewhere. Although you can also buy, like, oh look at this, a pink replacement shell. I like the teal one that was beside it. Oh, I want to get this game on Switch. Pearlescent, pearlescent Game Boy shell. This will be something more um, I'm interested in, or metallic red, wood grain, <laughs> seafoam green, or mint green, sorry. Oh, the pastel blue? Or is it called the haven blue? Mint green would be my phone color. I'm not gonna lie, the mint green just makes me think of Animal Crossing for some reason. It's from Nintendo. Although, another option I would do, and this would probably be crazier all the same, is I would buy both this one and the blue one, and then make the face green and the back blue, or the face blue and the back green, and just do up two, ga two Game Boy Advance at the same time. But just when all hope seemed lost, something strange happened. But, uh, probably more inclined to get the purple one. Although there is also this translucent. Oh, there is this one. It's twenty bucks. This kit. That one's closer to um. Let's see. They've got. Uh, let's see. They've got the solid black. They've got. Oh, they got the purple one that I have. See. Okay, the translucent purple one they're showing there is closer to the same color as the Game Boy that's translucent purple. I want to see my 3ds. And. Oh, they even got like a translucent pink. Ooh, that's pretty. Kind of makes me think of like Kirby or Bubblegum. And it looks like all these come with the uh, thing. Nice radius. Right here. Oh no, he's uh, he's showing it on a webcam. Oh yeah, the Galaxy 3DS XL. Yeah. My sister has that one too. I'm jealous. I only have the OG. Yes, the Although, it looks like you can buy just the, um, you could actually just buy a replacement bezel by itself. Ooh. Although it's $15. At this point, it's like you're honestly better off buying what I did, which is the full thing. Yeah, because I need the back. It's, like, it's $15 bucks where this is $18 or $20. Yeah, I need the, the uh, battery All cover. Alright, let's go, let's go, come on. I want to play the game. Oh, and here's, here's the one that you would ideally want. The, the dark purple, <laughs> like what I have. His tail. As you can see, there's the Game Boy Advance screen cover, replacement buttons, the rubber membranes. Apparently, it comes with membranes. Oh, Shows man. you what screwdrivers you need to open no. it up. Enough. Enough. I already have all the screwdrivers to open it up. Well, I mean, okay, welcome go. back. Yep, you basically need a 2.5 millimeter Y-wing screwdriver and a 2.5 millimeter crosshead screwdriver. I already got that. So they're exactly the same size as. Yes, yeah, the same one you'd use for knowledge. like. Yeah, that or alternatively opening up a pair of eyeglass, uh, doing up a pair of eyeglasses. Yep, I have both. So. From... For this game, is everyone joining through Steam or what? Uh, I don't. There is no um, Game Pass version. I checked. Yeah, I already stated as much. Ben's when we we'll get food, so we don't know how long it's gonna be. Okay. He didn't even say. 
Oh, I'm not, not gonna lie, I'm mildly tempted just to get this wood grain shell for the gameplay. I play this on the demo version of the Switch. That looks cool. Yeah, that not gonna lie. Like, honestly, what I'd be tempted to do would be get the like wood grain that? one. I don't think it's wood, I think it's like a plastic thing. Come on. There you go. I feel like it's yeah. a, I feel like that, uh... That blue one looks fast, too. Oh, this one? No, the, uh, dark blue. Oh, the one with the pearlescent. Yeah, the pearlescent. Yeah. That's nice. <clears throat> yeah, that looks like it comes with, uh, everything you need, basically. Oh, it even yeah. comes with a replacement decal, so you don't even have to, you don't have to fish the decal off the older system like I did. Because the one I bought me? didn't come with the decal. Yeah, oh, can you hear you? On the red, on the on the red one, too. Oh, so this would ideally be the one you would buy, then. <laughs> So what I can do then, if you want, I'll send you the links. Uh, there's the first one. And I'll send you this one as well. There, I just sent you both uh, replacement shells that I looked at. I'll have a very mod as well as the one I just bought for myself. And this is the one I specifically bought. Here's the last one there. It's just the translucent purple, green, and orange. But they all come with the uh, the screen cover, so you're at least good in that regard. Here you go. Although I think my next up thing I might buy for my Game Boy is I might buy myself a flash cart. Mm -hmm. Apparently there's this one called the Easy Flash that also comes with a, a Nintendo DS Game Boy Advanced style cartridge. Mm -hmm. Which is slightly shorter than a regular GBA. And then just stick that in my DS because I have two wow. Nintendo DS so systems flash. and one of them doesn't have... It's with a micro SD card. Oh. Yeah. So you can... yeah, the only downside is you have to open up the shell for the cartridge every time you want to switch out the games. Well, that's enough. But uh, the cartridge slot on my uh, my Nintendo DS, um, one of my DSs, doesn't have a cartridge in it. So what I would probably do is I would just switch the cartridge and stick this in its slot. Oh, that way I always have something in the cartridge slot. But it will also give me like a shit ton of GBA games to play on the go. Yep. That would be the ultimate uh, car trip GD, uh, GBA. There you go. Alright, need three more. I just used a uh, PSP uh, 2000. Yeah, hey, I, I get hey, it. Hey. But I mean, there's there's just something about there's just something about playing it on the original hardware. It's like why would I? Why else would I go through the hassle of repairing my GBA? Um. Sorry. If only for the novelty of it. I mean, the other option is probably could go for the EverDrive instead. I mean, now yeah, they're more expensive, oh, but yeah, um, I that the controls are different. The Switch version. These are far superior uh, flash cartridges. There you go, I just threw a little reaction on each one, so there you can kind of see the links now. One up! Ah, there you go. Okay, what are you doing, Mario? Oh, Super Lucky's Tail. Ah, uh, the new one. New Super Lucky's Tail. Isn't that basically just the same game? I don't, I don't know. I, I think it's just the same game with the DLC tacked on. 
think? I think so. Because I know they did release DLC for the game. I think it's literally just a Game of the Year edition with all the DLC on the disc. Or, in this case, the download file. Oh, easy way to find out. You said it's called Su New Super Lucky Tale, right? Yeah. New Super Lucky's Tale. New Super Lucky's Tale. What's the difference between regular version? New Super Lucky Tales for the Nintendo Switch. It's an enhanced version of Super Lucky's Tale. Oh, it features remixed levels. It apparently has remixed levels, so the levels are slightly different. Than the original. Yeah, it just came out Super Lucky. Because it, it says here, Super Lucky's tail is better on Switch, but also worse. To be fair, the Switch version doesn't have much. Doesn't have much, but it's perfect to play it on on the go. Okay, so according to this, it says here, they sound the same, but New Super Lucky's Tale is quite different. The hub worlds are laid out differently. The levels within each hub world have been changed. Major story strokes and small in-level quest storylines have been subtly altered to accommodate the, the new level layouts. It makes sense. Um... Even levels in the same hub world with the exact same name and general layout have been updated slightly. So some levels have been left more or less the same and other levels have been drastically altered. My guess is just more for a more streamlined playthrough. And some levels that were too long have probably been broken into multiple levels. And then other levels have been just completely changed because they didn't like how those levels turned out in the original release. So they've just been straight up removed and replaced. Or yeah. remixed. Oh, I forgot the C. I forgot the C. I forgot the C letter. Okay, I'm looking at some gameplay for Bowser's Fury right now. Because apparently, uh, some journalists got the game early, obviously, and are playing it already. There we go. I will say the gameplay. Some elements of it kind of remind me of Mario Sunshine. Well, mostly due to the fact that um, there are some obstacles that are covered in ink. And collecting the shine sprites, which are called cat shines now. Mm -hmm. They'll uh, give you... Well, they'll basically clear away the ink for you instead of using the uh, flood. And you'll also right. apparently be fighting ink clones of uh, Mario characters. Like, I'm seeing the uh, person playing this, apparently fighting a uh, ink clone of uh, Luigi. So, Shadow Luigi? Wow. Weebo bunny, wow. Meow. Gibble baggy chow. 
a little bastard mocks you. Oh, that was intense. Huh, this place should be coined with golems. I think that cag scared them all, all off. Yeah, it looks like the the theory about this just being one big hope open world area is confirmed. I guess you could say you're not a big fan of that one. Like you told me never to do. I told you not to do it because... <clears throat> you could your circuit something. But he oh, goes and does it live in front of billions of people. I didn't want oh, to Oh wow, to what a good secret. Something like touching a metal piece to any of freaking what things, even doing? by accident. Okay. Oh dear god, of course, of course, people are going nuts over the fact that uh, apparently there's a, someone playing the new Hitman game trying to kill everyone with a rubber ducky. <laughs> uh, the explosive rubber duck. Yep. Yeah, basically he knocked out everyone in a um, particular map and then basically dragged them. Oh, he failed. He failed. <laughs> okay, you know, it, it's still kind of funny, so I'll, I'll share this in videos just because I think it's kind of funny. There's the Twitch clip in question. There we go. Guy basically tries to kill everyone in a, in a map and he stuffs them in a cooler. Apparently, there's like a huge pile of bodies. It's actually kind of funny. Of course someone made this. A parody of Jurassic Park called Pee Wee Park. Pee Wee Park! All the Park. dinosaurs are Pee Wee Herman. Oh, so, did y'all hear about uh, Wall Street Bets getting mentioned on the fucking news? What Wall Street Bets? R slash Wall Street Bets. Are you talking about how, uh people are betting on particular stocks rising like I heard that apparently a bunch of people have been they're pumping game stock yeah they're bumping and up then they're game. gonna pull a short all right okay the, what what they do is just, they pump and dump regularly on fucking Wall Street bets and get suckers in on it in, in to lose their fucking money on it. people uh. every time Oh, is that why? Is that why it's trending on Twitter right now? What's that? Because they're pumping GameStop on Wall Street, oh. and then they're going to short it. They're, yeah, they're going to short it. Yeah, because I see a bunch of people just seem kind of robotic talking about it, being like, "Oh yeah, um, you should totally buy GameStop stocks right now. I'm super excited and everything." It's like. These people just seem like generic businessmen. They, their f profile pictures almost look like stock photos. Their time to buy it was way past. The time to fucking buy in on GameStop was was just when it was about to die, right before Micro Penis bought it. Micro. Or, uh, 
announced, yes, announced a partnership with them. Well, yeah, that's more for distributing yeah, the system in the States. Portal Master Just after Pete. that partnership announcement, Portal the Master stock Pete. just skyrocketed. <laughs> it shot right back up. There we go. One hundred percent again. Hmm. <laughs> Don't need a third dimension. Why is that so funny to me? Okay, this edit of Jurassic Park is funny. Or this trailer edit is funny. Uh, Pee-wee Park. Pee-wee Park. Yep. All the dinosaurs have been replaced with Pee-wee Herman. What's up, mother huggers? Uh, sent an adventure of the game. Is what's up. I'm watching something. It's not over. Uh-huh. When my thing's almost over. When the thing that I'm watching is almost over. Got like eight minutes left. Oh, no, do I have to run? Ah, oh, sorry. I, I just felt a small, uh, thing on my finger. Uh, looks like the hairline crack on my headset's starting to get a little worse. Oh, boy. Yeah. Looks like it's time to add more duct tape. <laughs> I mean, it still works pretty well, so I mean, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't, maybe I, I just use it till it eventually stops working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, this is a runner? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Dungeon run. Okay, I'll gotta give this a try. So I can get 100% on this one. Can I just quit? Come on. Oh, my God. 
So are you are you guys playing Civ right now? Okay, I got 300. No, I didn't get all 100 percent. Oh yeah, you missed a few yeah. items. Oh well. Well yeah, I noticed that the right you took. Well, either way, I mean, there's nothing really stopping you from just replaying the level. Yeah. Oh, there's a secret? Oh, that is like part of the puzzle. Uh, what are you streaming? Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Dark Fusion. There's no such thing as an evil hero. Yes, there is. I get it. Although I feel like they'd be called easy. dark hero or anti hero. Easy, easy. Evil hero. Bunch of Yu Gi Oh fusions. That's for like an episode or something. Actually, you could, if you have Amazon Prime, you can watch Yu Gi Oh on there. <laughs> because I know that all of Yu Gi Oh is on um, Amazon Prime through their Prime Video service. Hulu. Uh, don't know if it's on Hulu, because who's not in Canada? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Nope. Wow. Sort of like how I know that for a while, Disney right, Plus wasn't in Canada or in Australia, for that matter. I mean, I know it's in Canada now. I don't know about Australia now. I haven't bothered checking. I just remember right, a friend of mine was complaining because he wanted to watch The Mandalorian and he couldn't because he lives in Australia. Damn. Because Disney Plus, so they basically forced him to pirate. Here we go. It's actually one thing I think is kind of fucking dumb. How, like, all these streaming services have to get, like, copyrights and shit set up for different countries. It's like... The way I look at it, how the copyright office should work is it should just be a global thing. Wow, Rebo Bunny, wow. 
like honestly i think the patent office and copyright offices need to update with the times because i want to be able to watch whatever the fuck i want to watch wherever the hell i want to watch it and i shouldn't be restricted to where i live to watch it on whatever service i want to stream it on like whatever service it's on so like for example uh just kind of give any example uh rick and morty is on netflix but only in netflix on japan So if you want to watch Rick and Morty on Netflix, you have to have it. You have to be in Japan, basically. Whoa. That or have a VPN that's set to Japan. Ouch. Or another example is I can't watch uh, the show Reboot in Canada, even though it's a fucking Canadian made show, because I have to watch it through YTV in Canada, which is its television network that has the distribution rights to it in Canada. Meanwhile, it's on uh, it's on several different streaming services in the United States. Which I think is kind of dumb, because it's a, again, it's a Canadian-made show, so it should... You'd think it'd be able to just be streamed in Canada, no problem, but no, 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 no. It's like, ignore the fact that it's a Canadian-made show. <laughs> ignore that fact. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, also on a completely unrelated thing, I censored the video for Animal Crossing right where I said I was going to. It's all right, it's all right. Just for the joke. Not so much, uh, 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 yeah, but it's only the Japanese dub. Mittens. Joanna Gribble Earth's all. Top em jibs. Twalk em gerbil ermish. Nay, schnickle worm. Weebish knee wibble. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm done. 